Right, as you can see, this is nearly boiled now. So I think it's time to make a drink. I do like the solo stoves. These solo stoves can either be used as mess mess burner stoves or they can be used as twig burning stoves. The only difference is if you were using it as a twig stove, the small twigs you'd snap off and put on top of the grill meshing inside is where you put your mess burner. I do like them and as you can see it burns really well. To put them out, the top of a mess burner, this bit here, is actually a regulator. Now I never use the regulator, the only thing I ever use it for is to put it out and that is it. Now as soon as it's out, as it is now, let it cool down and put your lid back on. I'll leave that there. And the good thing about these solar stoves as well is you can pick them up and they stay cold. The outside chamber does anyway because it sucks air in through here, warms it inside the chamber as it brings it up and then throws it out of the air holes inside which feeds and gives a better burn. I really do like my solo stove. This is the solo stove combo. So it comes with that. It doesn't come with the mess burner. It comes with the cooker itself and this solo pot with a lid and as you saw a pour spout. Markers on the side for how much water is inside there. I really do like this solo cook set. And it is what I use every time I go out. Now, I've been wild camping for quite a little bit now. And I absolutely love every minute of it. There is nothing better than being able to go out in the woods, spend time by yourself or with others and enjoy nature. Enjoy getting back to how nature should have, should have been. Now I know people say, oh, you can't say how nature should, should have been because nature is what nature is. Well, I actually do like the way it is. Now, a lot of people think that wild camping is just long beard people who like living in the woods and doing all sort of weird stuff with woods but it's not a lot of wild campers do it for the peace of mind and to just get away from life now I've been wild camping now for six months and every time I go out I experience something new and I really do enjoy it there's not a there's not a time I've been out, even when it's been chucking it down with rain and things haven't gone right, where I haven't enjoyed it. Yeah, it's been a bit difficult at times to get a fire going, but that's all part of the fun of it. And it's really good for your mental health as well. Because if you stay inside your house watching boring mundane telly, it drives you crazy. And at the end of the day, life is what you make of it. Now, I didn't used to appreciate life. I took it for granted. And it was only afterwards that I started paying attention to what was going on around me. And rather than just sitting in and doing nothing and 
just getting lost within my own head, I thought to myself, this isn't good. I need to get out and do something. And I was flicking through YouTube and I came across a video by the Fell Wanderer. And I watched it and I was like, oh my word, I want to go out and do that. And when I did, it was amazing. I went out by, by myself for the first solo camp. And then I got on the second. And the third time I went out, I went out with a group of two like-minded people and ever since I did that I really started to enjoy wild camping and I know a lot of people don't say oh that's not wild camping that well wild camping is whatever you want wild camping to be you've got campsite camping where you've got toilet blocks and you've got a little bit of entertainment you've got an on the street you've got an on-site shop but when you've got wild camping You've got to take your water. You've got to have a way of cutting down firewood. A way of cooking your food. Somewhere to sleep. Somewhere dry. And this is what it's all about. Now, yeah, people can say, oh, he's a bit weird, that one doing that. But do you know what? They can't judge you until they've actually done it. No one's got the right to judge anybody. It's one of those things. I I like wild camping. I like doing the videos. I like going into the wild camping shops and looking about and seeing what new challenges that's that's, that's out there. And <coughs> I'm really looking forward to it. I've got so much to show and so much that I want to do on the channel. I really do hope that people stick by it and people get over the few little problems I've got. Yeah, I do stutter every now and then. And I don't like it. I sometimes think it messes up the videos and doesn't give me the courage to do what I want to do. But I thought, you know what? You only live once. And anybody that judges anybody over the way they speak or the way they look or about how much money they've got, that's, that's, immaterial stuff it's it's not right but I must say that wild camping has been a big help and a big goal and gain in my in my life six months ago I never heard of it but now I've been to some stunning places doing it. Been in South Wales. I went back. I went down to the Back to Basics HQ. Met Kevin and Wes, and it was a really good weekend. Um, been up to the Lake District to Hallop Tarn. Absolutely loved that. I've been on a few other camps that I'm not going to give out the location of them, like this one. And, and another one that I go to quite often with another wild camper friend I've got and it's really good. If you ever do fancy a go at wild camping, <coughs> give it a go. You don't need to go out and buy all the expensive stuff, you can just use a bog standard tarp from B&Q and a sleeping bag you've got at home and a roll mat. Yeah, you couldn't set it up like this is set up. You could set it up a bit like a bivy and tarp camp. Yeah, you could. And have a and have a bloody good time because that's what it's about. It's about getting away and breaking away from that mundane life. I absolutely love it. But through all this. I have to say something though because 10 years ago I wasn't in a very good place. I was really was in a mess and I, and I met someone called Sarah and she absolutely changed my life something chronic 
and ten years later now, I realise that she's given me the courage and the guts and the get up and go to go and do things that was out of my comfort range. And thanks to her, I'm doing all this because she never gave up on me. And I'll always appreciate that more than anything else. And she's great. So thank you very, very much for that, Sarah. And delicate sounds of company. Definitely happy with you. Loves you to bits, and I'll be home pretty soon. So I'm just going to leave you now to enjoy the rest of your days and I'll see you again soon on another episode of Delicate Sounds of Camping. Thank you and goodbye.